Hey yo guys, how's it going? Tally here and it's like been a week, yeah, it's been a week or so. I have worked my ass off recently um, and all of it all of it has had to go to this ridiculous card and his friend, a duster gold. I worked long shifts this week and then I was like, yeah, I will be rolling in it. I will have plenty of money to pay off the holiday I've got to pay off. Um, I'll have lots of spending money to do fun things with. And then this card came out on Thursday and it's like, no, no tally. You will have no money to do anything because this card is expensive. A duster gold is expensive and I am sad. I am very sad. Um, let's have a quick chat about, before we get into the vlog, let's have a quick chat about this is... This is disgusting behaviour from Konami. Um, this is, as far as I'm aware, in America, one card per case. Which, a case, in case you don't know, is 12 boxes. So in 12 boxes, people will pull one of this. Which is nuts. It's honestly, I mean, it's beautiful. It's a really cool card, but it's it's so, so disgusting. Um, short prints truly are the devil, to an extent. Um, I understand why it's done. But I, when it's this, when it's this level of short printing, like that's just that's just wrong. Um, a duster gold's not much better. Like I got this at a reasonable price. I would say I got this at like twenty-ish pounds, um, and it's subsequently gone up a little bit. And also a duster gold is like twenty-five, thirty pounds, which is, again is just is just nuts. Um, I'm really not happy with that. But screw that. Let's talk about the vlog. Okay, so. Not last week, but because I was working like ridiculous shifts this week, hence no content. Um, not this week, but the week before, I I decided to start getting ready for the upcoming regionals, which is just under a week from now. I um, decided to start getting ready and I decided to play Pendulum. So I'm going to cut to the vlog and I'll tell you a little bit about my day. <clears throat> Alright guys, so today is the day that I start getting ready for regionals. Um, going to be a big one, right? This is going to be the first one this year where I'm like, yeah, I'm going in kind of ready for this. Because earlier on in the year, I played Sky Strikers, which turns out I'm kind of bad at, but it's really cheap now, so I might just play it again anyway for laughs. Um, but yeah, man, like, I have got what I believe to be the best version of Pendulum I can currently play, and I think that's going to take me to where I want to go, um, which is success. So tonight is the first time that we're going to be really practicing it, and we're going to fucking hammer it. So I'll see you all guys at uh, Tokyo Toys. What's everyone? One. Two. Two. Three. There's four of us, so no one Ibiru. We're safe. <laughs> so what's the game plan? Count count the virus, count summons. Yeah. Yeah. So one Nibiru. Nibiru. Two Nibiru. Walk around random games and interfere them, just counting the cards. See if you summon three Nibirus in a game, Dwayne the Rock Johnson actually comes to like interrupt your match. <laughs> No, no, just actual Dwayne the Rock Johnson. He's like, honestly, if you've been abused five times, like, just lose. <laughs> no, if you're getting abused five times, just, just leave. Just yeah. Stop playing the game. <laughs> just please, Tokyo Toys doesn't want you anymore. <laughs> That's a lie. Tokyo Toys wants everyone. I'm really conflicted here. You see, on one hand it's Pendulum, right? <laughs> on the other hand it's Lewis. No. Yeah. Ouch. I can't wait till you and do him. It was a card. It was a good card, isn't it? It was a good card. Uh, First of all, I have missed you so much. Oh, look at that. Yeah, Tommy. Look at who you're missing, man. You, Tommy person. Uh, second of all, could you just could you tell everyone what you just told me? What deck do you play these days? Um, well, I, I just um, the, the same deck I've always been playing, you know, for a, a long time. Yeah. Which is my Cloudians. Cloudians. Yeah, Cloudians. Yes. Um, however, I've just kind of updated it. Uh huh. Um, and I said, you know what? Everybody else is doing it. Throw in the Orcus engine. Or Clo Orcus Cloudian. Orcus Cloudian. And you know what? End of turn one, Apple is on board with thing. 
Ding boy in the grave with Babylon Field. It works. Marcus. Marcus. That's so beautiful. I've missed you so much. Okay, so once I got to Tokyo Toys, it was just kind of business as usual. Chatting to some guys for five minutes, then we when they started playing. So let me give you a match by match breakdown of my overall eh. Um, it was an incredibly eh day. I wouldn't say it was particularly unsuccessful, but I wouldn't say it's particularly successful. So let me give you a match by match breakdown of everything that happened. <laughs> First of all, I went up against a really cool guy playing my Dolce. Um, game one, I did the pendulum thing. I set up a whole load in the gates, and he goes, "Okay, no." Game two, he went first, which I thought was weird from a Dolce, and he had uh, Sanctum Safe. Then he OTK'd me because turns out my Dolce can, in fact, OTK very well. Um, like these these little chocolate cake people, these little a uh, hook cake hook owl things, um, these a la modes, these, these pastry treats can OTK um, and that's that's quite disturbing to me. It's also delicious. Um, but yeah, like they just, just pendulum summoned a couple things. I'm like, break that. My free vanilla monsters essentially. Um, <laughs> I had nothing. And I had like I had a I had a pretty good hand as well to like break a board and make a board. Um, I had like Harmonized Magician. I had like Zephrath, I think. So I was like I could I could probably break this board, um, and start to set up my own. And you have a wee bit of a back and forth. But now nah, I get safed. Now I know how it feels. I have in fact sanctum safed a few people in my day, and now it's been done to me, and I feel pretty bad about it. I'm sorry to all the people I've ever sanctum safed. Game three, I was like, I'm be real cheeky here. Mistake number one. I'll be real cheeky here. Um, I'm going to make him go first because no doubt he'll assume that I'm wanting to go first and he'll put in all of his going second cards. And then I drew the perfect hand. Like, look at it. Yes! Despite the fact that I had the perfect hand, that guy had anti-spell. No! 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 For going second. Like, fair play, dude. Fair play. Okay, so, match two. Match two was fine, it was against Pure Rockets, it was a swift 2 to me, I did pendulum things. He went first to both games, but he just was kinda new to the deck, which is fine, like everyone's new to the deck at some point to make suboptimal plays. He honestly could have ended on a, a couple of decent boards, um, but I think there was just that unfamiliarity with the deck, to which kinda made him earned on, not subpar, but just not what he could have. Um, so I, I did the pendulum thing, I made big, big combos, um, and I just put him out of the game. So, th that's that, that's game two. Nothing really much to say there. Alright, now, game three was a bit more of a grind game um, in some aspects. So, it was against Sky Striker with a twist. We'll talk about that twist in a second. So, game one, I did the pendulum thing and built a board. He tried to break the board and it just didn't particularly go well and I eventually took that game. That that was kind of it. That was nothing really to talk about there. It was a good wee back and forth. It was against Sky Striker and I was like, okay, I'll go first. And he's like, okay, I want you to go first. And I'm like, all right then. So, I, I did the pendulum thing, built a big board, did have a couple of hand traps. Thank, thank God, not Ghost Ogre, right? Because people, just, guys, just heads up, always Ghost Ogre, the Electromite. Um, if you impermanence it, you just let them do Guard Dragon combo. If you Effect Veiler, you let them do Guard Dragon combo. Electromite is, unless you have Ghost Ogre, not the highest value target of the deck, in my opinion. Uh, just, just a heads up, you know, in case you want to beat Pendulum. But that was game one. Game two was something special. This person smokescreened his entire side deck into Orcist. And I was like, okay. He did the entire Orcus combo, set up Topologic with two full board wipes. And I was like, what? What? <laughs> I don't understand it. And that, that was particularly disgusting. Really, truly was upset. And I was like, what? Like, look at this. All right, this wee cycle was playing Sky Strikers. <laughs> and he sides into goddamn Orcus. That was clever. Look at that. It's well going. Right. I got wrecked. No, I did. It was upsetting and dramatic. And then game three was called um, mid combo, so nothing we could really do there. Couldn't damage him, he couldn't damage me. I kind of want to have a card that damages people. Um, 
cowboy for game, maybe. So I don't know. I do have some flex slots in my extra deck that I want to play with. So I'm going to consider something, not spicy, but just something to help me abuse those time rules. Um, yeah, but that was match free. Nothing really too much about it. Okay, um, match four again against Sky Strikers. I unfortunately lost. I opened fairly well game one. My, my opponent was like, hmm, don't know what I'm doing with this hand. And I'm like, yes, combo, combo more combo and i comboed off and uh, made the full board savage vortex spheres it was good to go and he draws, he draws for a turn he's like ah, i could work with this turns out in his hand and um, he had he originally drew like two widow anchor an evenly matched an impermanence and something else turns out that for his turn he drew the third widow anchor and um, it was real unfortunate uh, I just, I was just like, okay, um, I could probably play for a couple of Widow Anchors, I could probably play for a couple of Disruptions, and um, I feel like I played as smartly as I could at that point in time, I probably should not have went really splurgy on the high scale, because it was Dragon Pit Magician, I probably shouldn't have used him at that point, because I didn't have a Magician in scale, and I probably should have used just like Black Fang, like on another scale eight, it doesn't matter if I lose it, but I got evenly matched after I used all my negates, kept Tyratic Spheres on board, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna like, maybe bounce a thing or two, see where we get to, Nah, it didn't really work or anything. But that stuff kind of happens. Like, it doesn't truly matter. Um, it's just just learning. And then I, I did the thing again. And I was like, he wants to go second. He thinks I want to go first. I'm going to be cheeky. Guys, just, just, just do me a favour. Continue to remind me. Hit it down in the comments below. I should not be cheeky. I should not make cheeky plays. Uh, I'm not a cheeky player. I am actually really bad at the game. Um, so I'm not good enough for these sorts of mind games. So yeah, I'm like, yeah, sh on you go, pal, you go first. And it kind of had me. Um, I, ma I managed to poke a damage for a little bit, and then I just did the Sky Striker thing, stole my, my Light Monsters from the graveyard, um, and bent me over. The absolute worst part of it was because I was tired, right? That's my excuse. I was tired. Um, I had Electromite on board, Jackal, and a Dark Worm in hand, and I had not normal summoned that turn. So I actually had the full Guard Dragon combo in hand, and if I did that, then I, I just would have won. But no, I'm, I'm, an, I'm a jackass, and I forgot, wow, I, I've got a dragon in hand, two materials, that could in fact be three disruptions. Uh, nah, nah, like I just decided, nah, I'm not going to win, I'm, not, I'm just not going to win this match. Um go for it pal and then it, and it beat me. I actually did have um, a really good setup as well. If I just played a little bit smarter then I would have won it but I didn't because um, I'm an idiot. Yeah that's, that's pretty much all there is to it. So that, that's the match um, breakdown guys. I, I, I'm just not cheeky. Just remind me I'm not a cheeky player. I can't get away with head games. Just just tell me. Just tell me I can't. I'm not good enough for it. So let, let's just move on. <laughs> Alright guys, let's just take it to the outro, it's a little bit of a just a more chill vlog this week, just a lot of talking, me and you, we're friends after all. Guys, as always, if you liked it, give a like, if you loved it, give it a share and tell everyone you know about Team Tally today. If you yourself have not joined Team Tally, do yourself a favour, right, just down there, somewhere down this direction, there is a subscribe button, you should smack that subscribe button right now. Um, guys, as always, you have been fantastic, I've been Tally, I'll catch you all later, bye.